Hello and welcome to the Vibemaster channel. I'm going to be talking to you today about a 1981 Epiphone Emperor T. Uh, it was a guitar produced by the Matsumuku factory between 81 and 84 for Epiphone guitars. Uh, as you can see, look peeking right there, they even use big oil can sealed potentiometers just like you would get on a Gibson Jazz Box from the 50s up until the 70s. Now, this guitar has a 17 inch bout. The original Emperor's had an 18 inch bout in the uh, in the early 50s. But this is 17 inch bout, uh, solid hand cut spruce top, frequencer tailpiece. As you can see, part of the frequencer has been replaced. This guitar was definitely in an abusive household. Maple back and sides, original pickups, bridge has been replaced, original switch, knobs, ebony fingerboard. It's got the Emperor, Mother of Pearl, and Abalone inlays, just like Epiphone was doing back in the 50s. Epiphone Tree of Life. They've even kind of recreated that hand cut design of those early Epiphones, which is kind of neat. The thing that was so interesting to me about this guitar was. It was Gibson competing with Gibson. But this was not a cheap guitar. This was the top of their line in 1981, and it was $1,000 new. Now, I understand that a Gibson L5 or a, or a Super 4 or something would be considerably more new back then, but $1,000 is a lot of money for a, a new guitar. Oh, ebony fingerboard, which I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. Original pickups. As you can see, thin body. Now, because it has the solid mahogany core to it, it it's pretty heavy. From the neck, it's got a little bit of a headstock repair, which is very looks very old and very, very stable. Been playing this guitar for weeks and has no tuning issues and this is not moving or anything. The original Epiphone label. Now in 84, I've read they discontinued production of this model because it was just too expensive. And they moved their production from Japan to Korea full time and started producing all the guitars that are still going strong today. I don't know if they're still producing them in Korea. I'm sure they are. I know they make some guitars in Japan still. Next week I will be doing a, uh, a sound video of this guitar. You can hear how it sounds. I'll also be doing a uh, a reissue Gretsch Sparkle Jet that was a limited run one of uh, 19 and I'll be doing a new satellite amplifier pedal which is based on Forrest White's original white amplifiers of the early 60s. Anyway thanks for watching.